My Christmas project for 2017 was to try and find a way to mount my Makita DC-18RC charger to my metal pegboard in a semi-permanent way that would still allow me to remove it if necessary. I found a video by Dorsum Reviews showing a method of using the rubber feet to mount the charger on a board, but this wouldn't allow me to easily remove it, so I had to think of something else. And the solution I came up with? Magnets. That way the charger can still be easily removed thanks to the combination of these neodymium magnets and 3D printed parts. I designed and printed these little plastic feet which expand when screws are driven into them in the same way as the rubber feet did in the Dorsum Reviews video. Magnets are then glued in, taking care to make sure they are the same all the way around. These plates are then attached to the pegboard with plastic rivets and screws. The part on the right is typical of the corners and has a little cup to capture the foot of the charger. It has its own magnet which is attracted to the magnet on the foot. The cup is slightly offset as the positions of the charger feet don't match the centres of these pegboard plates. These magnets must have the opposite pole facing outwards to attract the feet and this is why I made sure the magnets on the feet were all the same way around. It just makes life easier. The part on the left has two magnets that sit slightly further out and is attracted to a metal plate stuck to the base of the charger to provide extra strength. The white dots identify the position of the plate, a single dot indicating a horizontal inward facing side and double dots indicating a vertical inward facing side. The plate on the right is the top right corner, the one on the left is in the centre at the top. Here are some of the initial design failures. This one failed because the hole was too small for the magnet, this one too big, and the others were mainly due to the cup offset being wrong. Note that this one has little raised triangles instead of dots. You've seen that the charger can be removed easily and it can just as easily be refitted. The magnets are strong enough to stop the whole thing falling on the floor when a battery is fitted for charging or removed. Now for the battery holders themselves. They're based on a design by Simhop on Thingiverse of the plate found on the bottom of all the Makita tools, which I've modified in 3D Builder and Windows 10 to add these four plastic rivet holes to hold them onto the pegboard. The batteries just snap in place. They're easy to remove by undoing the four screws just a few turns to allow the rivets to pull out from the holes. To refit, the plastic rivets might need a tweak, then they can be pushed in and the screws tightened up. This would be much easier if I wasn't reaching around a tripod. I made a mistake on the first design of this one too. The recesses weren't deep enough and the screw heads would catch on the battery as it was fitted. Next I made some tool holders. These were designed from a battery model also made by Simhop on Thingiverse, which again was modified to suit the pegboard. I left the logo on, but unfortunately it's upside down. Oh well. As you can see the tools can easily be removed and refitted. I have the USB charger, LED torch and impact driver here. They're strong enough to take my Monster 1002Z impact wrench with no problem too and this thing weighs over three and a half kilos. I wouldn't leave it there very long though. Finally I made a plate with the Makita logo out of white PLA because what sort of Makita fanboy would I be if I didn't? I painted the letters with a red paint marker which took quite a few coats but it came out pretty well I reckon. I still have lots of plastic rivets and screws so expect more pegboard projects soon. Thanks for watching.